Good day YouTube, it is the 5th of October 2019 and uh, I'm going to do just a quick video of uh, my acquisitions over this last week. It's Saturday morning, did a little yard sale on last Saturday and uh, hit an auction last night. It's a farm town, farm auction kind of thing. I'll show you what I picked up at the farm auction and uh, then a little later I'll get my van which has all my yard sale stuff in it so here we go first of all uh, these are just freight they came in these are the LED lights 14 of them to do that that we're putting in the bus set those down all right so this is the first order of business um, tools and uh, craftsman tools. So this is um, three eighths, twelve points. Those are craftsman. I like the plastic uh, organizers. There's a quarter inch. Again, craftsman. Three eighths deeps, six point, which I like. I love having twelve point shallows and six point deeps and you always have what you need. Half inch drive, 12 points. Here's another 3H drive deeps. Several sets of them, that's nice. And 12 point 3H drive. Half inch drive, metric to 17. 11 to 17. Why don't they start at 10? I don't know. A little dirty. Needs a little cleanup. That's all right. So I know there's a, a 3 8 a cross and ratchet and a half inch. I wish there was a quarter inch craftsman ratchet, but there's not. That one still has a sticker on it. So that's not good. The wrenches they knew were uh, miscellaneous. Um. Popular mechanics. Interesting. And it looks to be like they're quite an assortment. Um, and the reason I like this is because I always uh, I have, I don't know, more sets of Craftsman sockets than I could count. But, you know, I just keep adding to them. It's kind of like collecting. It's a sickness. Um, the wrenches, however, I was putting a set of tools together for the bus. I won't put a set of Craftsman sockets together for the bus. Um, just because of the way they're stored, but uh, this will be a nice set of wrenches for the bus. I got a little toolbox at a yard sale a couple weeks ago. And the other thing that uh, intrigued me about it was the tote itself, because I need to get totes for the underside of the bus. Uh, can you see it? It's almost the right color. So anyway, for keeping like the spare oil and for filters and whatever. So I gave uh, $45 at the auction. Box of tools, I consider that a good deal. And look at this Honda generator. What do you know? Um, looks to be in pretty good condition. It was sold as not running, which is, uh, if you know me, that's the way I like to buy them. Um, that's right, there was a little tool kit up here. Is it still there? Yeah, she's a little corrody, but a little clean up. So, good little generator. Um, I just bought one of these not too long ago for a good friend of mine that was looking. And, uh, so here's another one. So I'm going to put it up on the bench. That might be a video yet today. Um, I have a million things I need to be doing today. I need to be working on the bus. But I just love these. I just love to work on them. And I don't think I can let it just sit out here. All right. And then, Milwaukee Sozzle. All right, I already have a few of these, so I didn't really need another one, but nobody else wanted it, and uh, it's just got some dirt on it. The thing will clean up like new, so I'll clean it up later today and leave it in the case and put it somewhere. Um, it's got some long, uh, aggressive blades in it, like uh, you know, maybe we go up tree trimming or something. I don't know. It was twelve and a half dollars. Who wouldn't give twelve and a half dollars for a Milwaukee Sawzall? Oh my gosh. Um, I will. 
So anyway, in the case with blades, twelve and a half dollars. Oh yeah. What did I pay for the Honda generator? Well, I was really hoping to get it for 50, 60 bucks. I ended up paying 115 for it, which was yeah more than I was hoping. But on the other on the other hand, when they're running right, they go for between two and two and a half. Um, so I figure it's 225 bucks. I get it running, it'll pay for everything I bought and still put money in my pocket. Um, if I don't keep it, why would I keep it? I don't know. I got way too many EU series generators, but um, and these are significantly heavier than the EU series, and I wouldn't run my electronics on a generator like this. It's not an inverter generator, but these are great for camping and charging batteries and running lights and all that stuff. Very, very popular because they don't cost what an inverter, excuse me, what an inverter generator costs, even used. So we'll see. Okay, I gotta uh, do some stuff and I'm gonna bring my van back and it has everything from yard sale in last week. So I'll break this video here and we'll reconvene when I have the van and we'll go through all the yard sale stuff. Give me a moment. Okay, I couldn't resist going out and do a little yard sale in this morning. There wasn't much out there, but a little bit. So we get to show what's in the back of the tracker here. This is actually pretty cool. This is a fifth wheel stabilizer. And my sister um, has a 30 foot fifth wheel with a slide. It's home sweet home for her. And uh, she was complaining because it was windy the other day and uh, her trailer was moving around quite a little bit. I said, well, you need a stabilizer. I think they're probably fairly expensive when they're new, maybe 150, 200 bucks or something. So I got that for $25. So that's a good deal. And I talked the guy into, he had this, um, it's a brand new uh, detail gun. Um, I have, think I have a couple of these. They're really good. This one's brand new in the box, still in the bag, instructions, everything are in there. Um, it was $5, I had him throw it in and he was happy to do that. I sort of collect the vintage chrome flashlights, the Ever Ready or whatever. It's a pretty nice little flashlight. It's got a Sears tag on it actually still has a tiny little bit of battery in it but you know people are going away from these with the modern LED stuff and there's a cool little wrench well I don't even know that it's a wrench get out of here um, maybe somebody knows exactly what this is I get out here in the light I thought at first it was a spoke wrench but it might be I don't know what it is. It has a 135 and a 642. So that might be for sizing something. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's metal gauge um, or wire gauge. You know, number one wire would be probably about that diameter. And number six is the smallest. That would be the inside of this right side of it. That'd be about a number six. Anyway, I didn't know what it was, but I don't have one, so of course I grabbed it. <laughs> I always got to. Anyway, um, I'll have to run this over to my sister's today or something and get the front of her fifth wheel all stabilized. Okay, um, I'm going to go put my new flashlight with the rest of them. Alright, make a little room, boys. Got another one. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them or so. I don't know if there's any more kicking around. Try to keep them all together, but I like my little flashlight collection. All right, guys, catch you a little bit. All right, let's go see what's in the van from last week. Cool thing is, I don't remember any of it. Okay, what's in the bag? Yes, I don't know, I just buy the heck out of these metal speed squares, especially when they're cheap. It's a Stanley. It's probably 50 cents. Combination squares. I have a million, but I never can find one when I need it. I keep buying them. Um, this was for $2. It's a flexible extension, so you can chuck that in a drill. 
and then chuck a bit in that if you have something super flexible to get to including down walls of buses yeah we've remodeled motorhomes before um, stuff like this pretty handy it's the first one I've had I don't have one that's cool what else is in here oh yes yeah, this, this is cool I can do it without spilling everything it's a cast iron uh, wall mounted holder for stick matches um, uh, it's probably reproduction, probably from the 70s or something. Screw it to the wall, put a box of matches in there, grab them out. I'm going to put it here in the barn. Set that over here. What is this? Uh, it was for a dollar. It's one of those adjustable um, wood bits. It's set up for a brace, but... Uh, I just cut that off so you can check it in a drill because it has that square tapered end for a brace old school but hey, it was still in the box Irwin they're an old company two dollars twenty nine cents back in the day and an old school drill bit sharpener especially for the really big bits that don't fit the other sharpeners you might have um, this set angle guide if you've got a good grinding wheel or you know it, one of those really small grinders you can get a really nice fine wheel for that isn't really good for grinding anything else you can set it up somewhere for uh, this sharpening bit to put all that stuff back in there if we can we can do this without spilling everything there's the lid all right i got this uh just a little portable fan battery operated it's got a little light on it, a couple of different brightness levels, and a fan. The batteries in it, and it was 50 cents. It's one of those blades that, oh, must be multiple speeds. That was my finger, by the way. It's a rubber blade kind of thing. Battery operated for 50 cents, the batteries were worth that. It's a Coleman. That was cool. This thing was super cool. Look at this. Drizzle Guard Auto Rain Visor. Keeps rain off your windshield at the drive-in. So it somehow clipped to the top of your car and came down here and provided you uh, a little rain visor. Suction cups. Yeah, little metal supports. A little uh, break from the rain at the drive-in. Some of you don't even know what a drive-in is. A uh, cassette adapter. I keep these in my my Super Duty truck because um, it doesn't have Bluetooth and it has original CD and cassette combination. This is just a eighth-inch stereo to quarter-inch stereo adapter. Um, I keep that in there because I can still plug my phone in it. I um, mean, it just reads. It, gets the signal through the cassette. I just want one in there. I don't hardly ever use it once in a while. I uh, picked up what was left of 1,500 rounds of BBs for the Crossmans. I grab these uh, cord reel lights when I can get them. Even if they're broken, I fix them. This one's in good condition. I just got one the other day. So that's good. Um, some really nice uh, RCA cords. Um, that's uh, just a phone charger cord and then some adapter splitter cords These things are horribly expensive if you go to buy them that's probably twenty dollars worth of cords and adapters I'm sure they were 50 cents what do we got here it's silver marine this was a box of stuff that I had to get I don't exactly know what that is Quicksilver, Quicksilver. Would that be like a uh, trolling motor? Oh wait, some stuff here. It's like rebuild kits. Uh, I don't know what this is. There's two of everything. Jets and stuff. So this is a, like carburetor rebuild kits for something. 
I guess I have to run some numbers. That's probably a good deal for somebody. Because I bought this, I think this whole package for $2. Come with a strap. I really wanted it just for these lights. I got one that's got a busted lens. So um, I got a couple of lenses here anyway. And then these flat four connectors are pretty handy. Um, I have one right there on the my trailer connector for this van. So I have a spare little four-way. Not sure what this is. Anyway, that was two dollars. I got two of those four ways. One of them was nice chrome one. They were dollar a piece. And what I did with the chrome one is under the seat of my tracker that we were just in um, was this Craftsman breaker bar um, with a socket adapter and a socket on it to get the lug nuts off because the original lug wrench was gone. So I swapped it out for the chrome four way so I could put this in my toolbox with that set of Craftsman wrenches that I just showed you um, and I've been to Harbor Freight so I got that light sitting around what's in this box bag whatever oh yes tachometer 75 cents it's nice we don't know if it works yet or not but about half of these work when you buy them but uh, it's a great size, um, and it looks nice condition. I'm happy to put that one on my vintage vehicles that needs a tack. And what else? What else? Hey, another speed square or uh, tri-square. 50 cents. It's a short one. Heavy. Cast. Nice. All right. What's in this bag? Oh, yes. This is inexpensive. Um, 50 cents, probably a tractor light, but it could be a headlight for something. It's in great shape, 50 cents. It's probably six volt, we'll hook it up and it'll flash like a flash cube. And we have, oh yes, another battery tender. I'm doing good on battery tenders. I bought a, two or three of these things this year. And uh, look at that, it was $5.00. Price these things? They're really, really expensive. Is that it? Yeah, I guess that is it. So anyway, that's my yard sale finds. Nothing super exciting, I get that. But uh, it's still fun to go. It's the end of the season. I don't get to go um, as much as I'd like to. In the summertime, we're so busy with other things. But uh, we're at the tail of the season. I'm just not DJing anymore. Um, this, see, this you know, is kind of my end of the season. This is the stuff I like to do. And I uh, just thought I'd share it with you. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, comment if you got something uh, interesting. And please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the thumbs up button to help my videos be seen by others. I appreciate that. And we'll talk to you next time.